time. Mm -hmm. And these usually give off beta radiation and gamma radiation. So that it, it irradiates people uh, below. That, they have a high stack so, so that the reason it's high is because they don't want people to be too much exposed to the uh, gamma radiation, which is very penetrating and very powerful. So if they had a low stack, it would be more dangerous for the people. But yes, there's beta radiation and gamma radiation being given off all the time above the plant uh, as a result of radioactive gases that are given off. And they are mostly, uh, they're called the noble gases, noble gases. But there's more that gives actually some flaring effect because air is ionized heavily inside the power plant. Yeah, and that's it, true. And it also goes into the ventilation. Yeah, well, that's the carbon-14. The carbon-14 is beta, or beta radiation, too, and that also comes out as carbon dioxide. One beta emitter is also a free neutron. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, an interesting question, that can cold neutrons float? Can what? Can cold neutrons Cold float? or cold? Cold. 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 You mean thermal yeah. neutrons, yeah. yeah. Well, they are thermal in the reactor. Or, yeah, I know. Of course, cold neutrons become thermal quite quickly. But are they able to float also? Float? Quickly? Yeah. Sure, why not? It's just like hydrogen. I mean, uh, you know, like, uh, what is a hydrogen atom? The nucleus of a hydrogen atom is simply a proton. Oh, true, yeah. So of a proton course. and a neutron, what's the difference? 